three of reviewing the scientific research that has been conducted on Shark Shield, the world's only proven electrical shark deterrent technology. Now let's have a look at this research. In this research, uh, conducted in 2012 by Herbineers, they did a number of tests. Now, what they were aiming to do was look at the effectiveness of a shark shield electrical deterrent on the behaviour of white sharks in particular, so great whites. Now, there were three key findings from this. In the static test, the shark shield significantly increased the time it took for a shark to take the bait. Now, in the dynamic test, that with the shark shield turned on, there were zero breaches in an attack on a seal decoy. Now, we'll go through these two in a little bit more detail. There was a third piece of the research on do shark shields attract sharks? And, of course, the answer was no, because it's a myth that shark shields attract sharks. So let's have a look at the first static test. Now, in this static test here, you can see some floats and buoys behind a stationary vessel. The shark shield here is tethered about one and a half metres down on this anchored piece of rope with a GoPro camera down the bottom. And then the bait is sitting slightly above the shark shield. Now let's think of the electrical field we showed in part one of this series that was designed by the National Space Agency in South Africa. Now in this scenario, when you see the shark shield in its horizontal position, you can see the bait is pretty close to the most powerful part of the electrical node. However, the shark shield is not tethered, and the shark shield Freedom 7 and Surf 7 are designed to not be buoyant, in other words, to sink. So the most likely position of this electrical field is actually down here. And the bait is actually to the very edge of the electrical field, which is why it significantly increased the time it took the sharks to take the bait, but they did take the bait. This is a six kilo piece of bloody tuna in chummed up water. So the sharks are pretty keen to have something to eat. Now in the worst case scenario, the shark shield ideally would be hanging down like this. So the bait is a long way from the main strength of the electrical field. But still a good result overall. Now let's have a look at the dynamic test because this is very interesting. In the dynamic test, you have a vessel pulling a seal decoy. Now, you may have seen some discovery video around this, and we'll have a look at that in a second. But in this scenario, the shark shield is always in a horizontal position because it's being dragged through the water. And you've got a seal decoy here. And the objective of this test is, will the shark shield prevent a shark attacking the seal decoy? So let's have a look at the electrical field surrounding the shark shield in that position. Notice that the electrical field completely covers the area below the seal decoy. Now in this scenario, the shark shield was effective 100% of the time. Out of some 96 toads, and some half of those with the shark shield turned on, at no point was there a breach out of the water. When the shark shield was turned off, there are approximately 16 breaches of where the shark came out of the water. Now, if you're wondering what a breach looks like and how effective Shark Shield was in stopping a breach, have a look at this breach. see from the video of a shark breaching in the attack mode of a seal decoy, the effectiveness of the last piece of research on shark shield is extremely significant. If shark shield could deter a shark attack on a seal decoy that causes it to breach, then clearly what you have is a product that is well proven and well tested. The Shark Shield is the only proven and tested shark deterrent in the world, and without doubt, the product works.